Salut. Are we there? Is it freeze? <laughs> Stuff's been going down. I've been keeping myself uh, like two to three days behind kind of the... There it is. All right. I've been keeping myself behind the loop about two to three days just because I want to predict it because that's what I do. So I had to do a card read on everything. And everything's just coming out, man. And I did uh, I did a live last night. And by the way, if you're on Rumble or on YouTube, this is a live on Facebook you're watching, okay? Just, I, I know I've said it, but I just want to let you know, like, this is one, two, three, go. This isn't like me doing a pre-recorded in my corner over there, all right? But anyway, um, yeah, I had to do a card reading because everything's just coming out. And then last night I said, man, we got to start talking in code because the uh, censorship is coming down. And I kept saying, I've, I've seen the game plan and it's the same game plan from last year. All right, and they're just implementing it again, okay? You got Pasaki. You know what a Pasaki is, right? That's the men uh, genitalia and the female genitalia. You mix those two together and you get a Pasaki. All right, use your imagination on what that is. That's what we got a lot of Pasakis. You grab them by the Fauci, you got them by the Pasaki. That's all I'm saying. Use your imagination. Anyways, definitely over the summer, we're going to have to uh, watch what we say because they're going into full uh full metal jacket i said last week i think it was around monday or tuesday when i saw fauci how he was putting out the bat signal to the ground troops and then what happened on saturday will johnson went to go protest in los angeles and guess who was there antifa and blm right exactly the ground troops are out he told them go 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 because all the schools are out what they were going in school they're out, and they got all their college professors, all their students, their brainwashed CRT people, and these are the ones that are behind all this, okay? So anyway, now that that's unleashed, and then you got Pasaki, and I told you Pasaki, she's sending out the bat signal to the, uh, literally to the uh, big tech to uh, start the uh, borar, which means erasing of people that are not going along with the agenda, right? That's happening. So I said, man, I got to do a card read, right? I got to see what's going on because that's how I get ahead. I do card readings. So anyway, I pulled this card. This is the Page of Swords, which is the truth card. And she has a sword because she cuts through the lies and she has her swans that keep a, vi a vigilant eye on everything that's going on. And she trusts the stars, kind of like me with my reading of the cards. And this is basically the truth is coming. And that's why you see the yellow around her because she's an illuminated soul, right? And that's where we're coming because the truth is coming. And I'm going to tell you right now, I think it was it was Friday. I was watching the Alex Jones um, show, and I said this last night. The truth about the Arizona inventory that's going on, the, the inventory, or the toilet paper inventory. You know, they were doing the inventory in Arizona about the toilet paper. Well, the, the toilet paper is a little bit off. So, they, uh, they, yeah. And so, if you watch, I watched Alex Jones. I think it was the 16th of July, 2020, just this past Friday. 2021, excuse me. Um, they do an interview. If you look at that show, go about an hour and 25 minutes in because he gets really angry in that show. He's just frustrated, but whatever. He, I, his rants, I love him. But anyway, go about an hour and 25 minutes into that show and he's got a guy from the Gateway Pundit, young guy, and his, you got to listen to him because he's so young and has just happy. You can tell he's like, thank you, Mr. Jones. Thank you, Mr. Jones. And he's just like, oh, but he's releasing this information. He's just like, he's telling it with his like, his young uh exuberance it was so cool to watch because he's just like dude look at all this yeah he's just like yeah bro we got that this this and that and he's just laying it out there so go there and look at it because right now you can't just be coming on these 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 platforms at this point in time and just be saying what it did but i could tell you where to go okay and what i use is rumble and i go to uh general shepherd and i and i watch all the full shows from the infowars on that and that show right there he just his youthful exuberance was was refreshing because you know you're watching all these people in the the, the streets and the youth and they're just brainwashed like this is a systemically racist just a bunch of racist people Donald Trump orange man bad orange man bad like like whoa okay um, uh, let's do some research and they're like what research I don't know. you ask them one question and they just fall apart and start yelling ah! Ah! <laughs> so anyway he he dishes it out in about a 10 minute interview and he says uh the real reason they the, the the real reason why they haven't released all of the information about the the inventory the toilet paper inventory that's going on in arizona you know because the toilet paper the paper inventory uh about 20 percent of the other inventory that um 
they have actual subpoenas to, like people are literally not letting it be released. Even though there's court subpoenas to have it released, they're not letting it. They're like, got it chain linked. They're like, nah, nah, nah. And they don't want to release 80% of everything. They want to release 100%. So understand, this is where this is coming. This is why Pisaki's out there like, talking about text messages, this, this, and that. I'm not going to get too in the, involved in that. You're going to have to start doing some individual research. But but they're talking about all this text messaging, viewing personal text messages or whatever, whatever, whatever they're talking about. It's out there. And you're going to have to start talking about like this. And why I released the video last night is we're going to have to start talking in code, give the half truth. So people are going to have to be like, what do you mean? What do you mean? And maybe they can catch this later, catches their ear, and they start looking at it. And I could, I could direct you in a place to go to get the information on what's really coming out because it's coming out. And, uh, oh yeah, I'm on a card read. So anyways, I was hoping that I got the jester card, right? So I got the truth card, right? Truth card. Boom. That's her page. And then we go to the, uh, this one, which I was actually hoping that they gave me the jester card, which is like Pisaki, like a jester. And the, the guy's wobbling, like all kinds of things. He's on one leg balancing on a ball, but it was this one. And it's cool. Cause I pulled this in a prior card read about what's going on and I said they're gonna bleed themselves out slow it was a, a video I put out there and said uh um when the cat's away the mice will play and so and I said they're gonna bleed themselves out so that's what's happening this is the karma see how the the birds are coming around isn't it funny that the uh the uh page of swords had the black uh swans and you see these black birds coming around and, and, and coming around like karma and souping them up. And this card usually leads to a lot of uh, Freudian slips, a lot of errors. What's going on right now with the uh, current uh, administration or whatever, whatever you want to call these people. They're having all kinds of Freudian slips. Everything's happening. There's going to be all kinds of just trip ups and slip ups along the way. The universe is basically saying it's going to start tripping them up. You see how she's tripping? She's tripping and falling. That's coming right now. That's where we're currently at right now. You're going to start to see a lot of trip ups, a lot of things, and you're seeing it all over the place because they are scared. They are scared. The information is coming out from Arizona. They got a guy with like a chain, you know, with a chain across these things that they don't want to release. And that's the only thing that is holding the dam. Just a, a little chain on a door, a little lock from the, the information coming out. But it's coming. And that's why Pasaki's out there saying all this stuff about. Uh, get ready for the censorship and that's censorship and that's why I've come out and been like yo you need to learn how to talk in code don't just say the Arizona thing say the inventory in Arizona you're gonna have to and you're gonna have to get on this, this page and if you ain't on this page at this moment just forget about those people just forget about those people just let them go let them go this is gonna be the next phase which happened I pulled this card before too you see the Pied Piper up there singing on his pipe and the money's going to a uh right there to a new plant and you see right here that's the swamp that's what's happened to the swamp see it's all dried up right there right here the swamp's dried up the energy and the money and the power is changing and we've seen that a lot of people investing in crypto and other 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 outlets we've seen it now the, ch the change the banks are losing their grip and this is why the censorship is coming because this swamp is being drained the money is going into some new life and they are about to trip and that's why fauci went out there was like we're going to need peaceful messengers knocking on the doors because he knows it's losing. That's why Pisaki's like, um, you guys, um, I've got this list of 12 people and they're going to really need to be censored. And then, then, then everybody's going to be censored. So watch your words. And then finally, the end of the card read this card. I, it doesn't need to be explained. It's a justice card. She's holding a balance right there. The justice is coming. OK, it's coming. But before all that happens, before all that happens, they're not just going to go out without a fight. There's going to be some blood loss, and we saw that on Saturday. Will Johnson went to that, that uh, spa in Los Angeles, and I talked about it, and those Black Lives Matter, they're on the street, and they ain't even holding back no more. They're just, they are geared up and ready to just tear stuff apart. So this stuff's coming out, and they're, they're sending, and the censorship's coming, so you better watch your words. That's why I'm going to come out here and say different words, like don't, don't just use the normal words. Like for like example, like mask, they're like, oh, the mask, mask. Don't say mask. Say pie hole stuffer i'm not gonna wear your pie hole stuffer anymore because that's what that is and when you do stuff like this like the face diaper and do this it takes power and energy away from these words because they want to use the word lockdowns oh we got another lockdown don't say that say time out say oh because right now they just put australia on another timeout. 
like like a parent putting their kid in timeout because he wouldn't stop picking his nose and teasing his sister, right? That's how you got to put the energy on it because when you go, Australia's under the lockdown, it's like a power thing. It, it, there is power to that. No, Australia had to put their grown people that are trying to live their life and go to work on another timeout because they're acting like petty adults, okay? So start changing the words to timeout. Oh, you go put them on timeout? Australia on another timeout? Because the babies weren't doing too good? It's like the Christmas story, you know? The mom was scared of the little kid, so she had to bundle them up in all them sweaters. And that's what, like, Australia is doing to their people right now. Can't let them go out and just wear a jacket and some pants. And, and really, we just want to be the big kid and go out with a jacket and the pants and a scarf. But no, the government's being like the mom in the Christmas story, trying to wrap the kid up in a hundred different layers. And, like, you can't go out here. You got to get ten jabs. They're, they're coming out with millions of jabs. And then here's the censorship. Okay, all this LGBTQ, all this division they're doing... It's because they want to have thousands of ways to to edit you off of these platforms, okay? I don't even know what a xenophobe is, and I don't want to know. I don't know. I'm 41 years old. I've never heard xenophobe. Xenophobe it just created over 2020. I don't know what it is. I don't want to know. These are all the ways that they've created because they've had since 2016, three years to plan, and now they've unleashed their attack. It's crumbling, but we got to stick together. And that was, I did have another card that I pulled. And it was, uh, it was, uh, I don't remember the name of the card, but it was a, it was a together card. It was like a couple, and they were holding each other, looking towards the window, and it was talking about teamwork. So I guess I should have pulled that card, but for, for when it ended at justice, I was like, you know, I'm gonna end it there. But then I'm thinking about it in teamwork. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to join as a team to get around all this stuff and start spreading information. That's why I'm making these videos because it's very important to watch your words because the hammer of the censorship's coming. It's gonna be exactly like 2020 if you just sit. And you just kind of breathe and you kind of think about the attack of 2020 and all the censorship and everybody getting banned and how they did this and how it's coming again. It's the same thing. It's like, have you ever been in a relationship with like a crazy ex and then you kind of wake up in the middle of an argument and like, dude, we are literally hashing out the same argument for the sixth time. And that's kind of the time where you realize you got to leave. That's what we're with right now. It's like, they're like, okay, you know how this goes. The definition of insanity. We're going to do the same thing we did last year and expect different results, but the same results are going to come. And then you realize that your ex was just insane, you know? And that's what I've been saying. And that's the truth. Sorry, I got it. I had some, oh, I had some sinus today. You know what's funny? I had a sinus attack today and I was in the street because I have sinuses. And I was sneezing and sneezing and sneezing and I was like, we can't even sneeze anymore. They want you to wear your sneeze in public. They're like, lock them up. It's like, dude, I got sinuses. Every year I get sinus problems. I was just walking down the street for whatever reason. There's something in the air. And I was just thinking to myself, like, that's the attack. You can't even sneeze. You can't sneeze in the snore. You can't. Yep, nope, nope, can't do that. Nobody can get sick anymore. Nobody can get sick and die. Nobody can get sick. The most inevitable thing that's going to happen, you're going to die. Everybody's going to die. You're going to get sick. Eventually you're going to get sick. It's actually good for you. Your body creates a, a immunity to it, and you don't get that strand anymore. Now they just want to be jabbing you up with whatever, you know, and the juice. And, oh, I got to say this. Okay, I'm going to use a code name, Orange Man Bad and Senior 45. Everybody's mad at him, especially Alex Jones. He's like, man, this juice, this juice, you're the, you're the one behind even Anomaly. Man, he's the one that signed the juice. That juice, if you look at it now, because I look at everything right now as a strategy and a plan of attack. That juice they did not expect the juice to be juiced. They did not expect the jab to be juiced. And now that the people are seeing it and they're looking at the information, they're like, well, this juice, you know, now now if you're, you're an anti-juicer, you're like some kind of anti-supremist. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's what they do to everybody. If they don't like you, if you're not fitting their agenda, you're like, you're an anti-supremist. You're an anti-this. You don't want the juice. You don't want the juice. Why do you not like the juice? Oh, we got to go after you. Oh, we're going to censor you because you don't like the juice. And you got to speak saying the juice. And the jab, you don't like the jab. That's why they come up with these code words. So what I was going to say is by uh, Senor 45, Orange Man Bad, when he came out with the juice, that was the biggest wrench he threw into their whole scenario. Could you imagine if we didn't have the juice and the jab right now? Could you imagine how it would be? That, like right now, there would be no jab. Look at what's happening right now and minus the jab and the, and the juice. Minus that, they would have total power over everything. They, cause you, you wouldn't. We got different. They would have like sixty different variants right now. And then, and then I was watching a, another show, and they actually pulled up this guy's bio, and they had a, a commercial 
of the guy it was like in the UK and he was in a ventilator and he's on the bed and then it pulled up later dude's a total actor so they're just making these commercials and the nurse was like so you didn't take the juice huh huh look at you now should have took the juice huh and then in Australia they just got some girl she's just like <laughs> she's on the ventilator just <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like should have took the juice so see all the rhetoric they're doing and they did this in 2020 and now they're doing it in 2020 i remember last year i drove around all the hospitals in san diego and all the little tents they had in mexico and tijuana and i drove around all of them and i'm just like they're all empty they're all empty i told my friend he's like fake news and i'm like no i'm telling you i drove around all the hospitals in san diego i didn't because i tried to send him a video and he's like fake news but then I realized that dude was just brainwashed beyond comprehension. He was just Trump derangement syndrome. He was like, CNN, tell me what to think today. And I will report you to my my people and put you on my feed. Please, Brian Stelter, please tell me. Because the orange man is bad and we must go away. Life will return to normal when he's gone away. Well, the orange man went away and nothing's returned to normal. L.A. just uh, uh, did another mask mandate. Australia is in another timeout. And the UK uh, prime minister just signed something to say, if you don't have the juice and pulsating through your veins, you can't go to a bar or restaurant. So, yeah. You get it now? You see the censorship now? You see everything that they're doing? It's happening. It hasn't stopped. Orange man bad is gone. Orange man bad is gone. And Pisaki's coming now. And she's like, well... There's like 12 people on these sites that we're going to have to take a look at. And might, if you text anything bad, we might have to take a little peek at that. Because you're right. And they're going to use the same guys they've been using for almost two years now. We're saving lives. <laughs> That's what the whole thing is. The whole pandemic. We are going <laughs> to. You, you want people to die. That's what you're saying. That's, that's, that's it. And if you people don't wake up for it, from it, that's where we're going. You won't even be able to you won't even be able to leave your house. You won't be able to do anything. But with that being said, I've been saying you got to start learning code. Don't go online and just start spitting things. You got to learn code. That's what my video last night I said, "Look, you got to start saying code. You just came out don't just come out here and be happy because you heard some maybe point to it. Look, I heard this from over there and then say something. Like don't just come out and say what's happening in Arizona and say what's happening in Arizona say you know the uh, the inventory in arizona came up a little short little things the code words are very important and and stop saying lockdown start saying they're putting us on timeout again because you take away the power of it okay when you say oh we're gonna we're gonna lock them down yeah you on the hard arm of the law no just go oh uh, it, is the government putting us back on another timeout because it doesn't want us to get sick you say it like that and people be like yeah yeah and the jab like i said senior 45 orange man bad very important think about this think about this some people needed two to three jabs right up in their cuerpo to wake up because it's going to be that time maybe that fourth jab's coming around they're like why do i have to leave <laughs> this doctor office or this tent in the middle of who knows where and still put my jab my 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 uh Cobre boca in me ca in me, my pie hole stuffer. That's what I call it. The pie hole. Why I gotta put my pie hole stuffer back on after I've had four jabs? I've had four jabs. Those are the people that were so asleep that they needed four jabs to question it. Finally go. Oh. What four? four? Five? Five? I took four. I got the four, but I got the four. And they're just like got the the paper and then and then those are the ones that are finally gonna start looking at like Pasaki like I think she I don't know man I don't like that lady with the orange wig man she freaking me out bro orange wig bad and finally you start to see it and you got Joe Biden just whispering in the mic let me in one point these people are creepy what is your allure with this Democratic Party what is the what is what is your weirdness with this these people are just out of their minds. They're just juicing you and juicing you. And they'll juice you to you taste. No more juice. I got enough juice. <laughs> I got the fresh squeeze. I got the pulp. I got the... 
They got three different kinds of juices for you. They got the you can call it the leche if you want. They got the tres leches. Leches. They got the strawberry. They got the regular. They got the chocolate. You got three different leches. That's not good enough. And then if you talk bad about it, it will just blow you off the uh, internet. All right. Start to see the attack already. Start to wake up already. People are just like, well, we got to go to the baseball game. It's coming back. The censorship's coming back is what I'm trying to say. So watch what you say online. Start speaking in code. Keep making code words. And then we'll be able to uh, talk and get get around it. Because people are waking up. Some people, unfortunately, did two to three jabs. And to still wear their mask and their car to finally see through all that veil that had been put on them. All right? So anyway, that's my two cents. I hope uh, it gets through. I know I'm going to have more. I know I'm going to have more because it's coming. It's coming. This summer is going to be hot. And it's hot. That's why I'm sweating, man. Try to cool down my apartment, but it's hot. All right. Peace out.